Good morning everybody. Let us start with class 1 of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. In today's class, we will define AI in terms of acting humanly, thinking humanly, thinking rationally and acting rationally. When we talk about intelligence on the common sense basis, basically we have four different parameters to judge whether human is intelligent. First one is performance, second one is rational thinking, a thinking which is purely on the basis of truth, third one is internal thought process and fourth one is intelligent behavior. On the basis of these four parameters, now let us define what is artificial intelligence. It is a branch of computer science, a theory and development of computer system which is able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence such as see and understand, hear and understand, do the decision making and translate languages. When you build an effective AI system, what are the primary expectations from these systems? The first one is learning on their own on the basis of machine learning algorithms such as supervised, unsupervised, semi-supervised, reinforcement learning algorithms. Second thing is reasoning. Third thing is self-correction. Fourth one is creativity. Nowadays we have generative AI applications such as Chat GPT, Bard, Debug AI, we have Gamma AI. All these generative AI applications are the biggest contribution of AI models and they are built on top of huge training data that has happened in the past, right? The last expectation from AI is recommendation system. Again, we will define AI in a vertical uh, way. Artificial intelligence is a broader term, which is a computer program that can sense, reason, act and adopt. How it will do? It will do on the basis of subset called as machine learning. Machine learning again has got its subset as deep learning, which purely works on the basis of uh, convolution neural networks. Now coming to the types of AI, we have two types. In first type, we have narrow AI, general AI, super AI. In second type, we have reactive machine, theory of mind, limited memory and self-awareness. Now coming to the components, as I already mentioned, machine learning is the biggest foundation for AI. We have deep learning, we have neural network which is a subset of deep learning, we have natural language processing. Um, nowadays Python has got toolkit, uh, library for NLP, we have computer vision, cognitive computing, we have robotics, we have human computer interaction which I have missed it here. Now uh, coming to the proper definition. If you want to build a perfect AI system, it should act like a human, it should think like a human, it should think rationally and it should act rationally. Now let us uh, start with the first one. How do you make your computer system act like a human? During 1950 itself, Turing has conducted an experiment which is, uh, set, which is set up like this. This solid line, we call it as a wall. Yeah, assume that it is a wall. On the other part of the wall, there are two entities A and B, where A is a computer system, B is a human being. And on this part of the wall, there is a human interrogator C. He is going to ask the question. For this question, he will get a response from other part of the wall. Okay. For example, let us say C will put a question to other part of the wall saying that who is Amitabh Bachchan? Now, obviously, he is going to get the answer. The answer is Amitabh Bachchan is a mega star of Bollywood. Now this is the right answer. Now this person, interrogator, has to confirm whether this answer he has got it from computer system or this human being. If he is able to recognize it properly, then he wins, otherwise computer wins. Right? So this is one experimentation uh, which will be a foundation for building the AIs that act like a human. Now, when you want to build a system which acts like a human, what are the considerations that you have to have, right? The first one is you need NLP to build it because you are going to build a AI system which is going to work in the environment. Environment means there will be so many entities. It has to interact with those entities. If it wants to interact with the entities, obviously it should learn the language. It should parse it. It should understand. So to do all this task, NLP is important. Now coming to the second uh, requirement, knowledge representation. Now effective AI models, they are effective because of the huge training that has already happened, right? So how do you store that uh, data 
so that you can generate knowledge that is another concept right so you should have nlp you should have knowledge representation third one is automated reasoning how do you build it fourth one machine learning as i already told it is a fundamental or a foundation of ai a uh, fifth one is computer vision and speech recognition because ai is going to work in the environment it should see and understand it should hear and understand effectively so that it can operate perfectly right so the last expectation uh, is robotics you have to incorporate robotics because your system is been trained to do certain task to do a task you should have a arm and you are going to guide that arm on the basis of its learning right so all these six things you have to uh, involve so that your ai system will act like a human now coming to the second one how do you make your ai model think like a human it is purely on the basis of cognitive science first one is introspection being a human when we say something we introspect when we do certain things whether it is good or bad we in introspect it right so machine should introspect something the task that it is doing it should introspect second is psychological experiment now say obviously when we are you know doing a day to day activity if the person next to us is happy we are happy if the person next to us is aggressive angry our we also get disturbed right so your system should interact with the next entity by observing his actions right so psychologically you have to build your system a third one is brain imaging you already have a mri you have a functional mri you can understand what all brain activities are having at the neural level right so if you want to understand cognitive part of your brain you are going to incorporate brain imaging so that you can make your system think like a human now coming to the third one thinking rationally it is laws of thought now i said uh, 345 bc aristotle has already come up with a mechanical concept regarding how to conclude something that concept we call is call it a syllogism which is a logical reasoning right for example uh, see i have two premises the first premise is all the cats are animal and second premise is all animals have four legs now how do i conclude these two premises i say all cats have four legs now see th th there are two terms which are common w what is the term that is common animal now this animal is not at all there in the concluded sentence now this concept we call it as syllogism and it is a mechanical way to think something think rationally think correctly right so logical reasoning you have to incorporate so that you can build a system which will think rationally rationally means it should think correctly on the basis of truth that's it and the second component you have to incorporate is probability what is probability it is a uh, domain which will say that uh, for example what is a probability today is cloudy whether it rains or not what is the probability that it is going to rain heavily and what is a expected uh, amount of rain today right so probability logical reasoning they are going to make your system think rationally now coming to the last part how do you make your system act rationally the first one is operate autonomously you have to build a ai system which operates on its own it should perceive the environment perceive the environment means it should see something to see something it should be uh, vision it should hear something right and third one is persist over prolonged time period it should not work for one day it should work 24 bar 7 throughout life consistency or uh, let us say you know stability or sustainability right fourth one is adapt to the change it should be proactive in nature last one is create and perceive a goal obviously you have built a ai model to do certain task and achieve a goal it should be able to create and perceive that goal so all together these five concepts you have to incorporate so that your ai model acts rationally with this i conclude thank you very much